Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and what that means to each and every one of us as a Catholic Christian. Today, we honor also uh, St. Kateri Katowicka, and we ask her intercession in our many needs that we too will continue to build up the kingdom of God where we are at. So let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our own faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for his gracious mercy. Please join me in the community here. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done, what I have failed to do. My fault, my fault, my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Aversion, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who desired a virgin, uh, blessed Kateri Kataritha, to flower among the Native Americans in a life of innocence, grant through her intercession that when all are gathered into your church from every nation, tribe, and tongue, they may magnify you in a single pentacle of praise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book <clears throat> of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth, the path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you mete out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth, writes and cries in her pains, so were we in your presence, O Lord. We conceived and writhed in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you who lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of light, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. <clears throat> Today's responsorial psalm is, From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her. For her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. 
to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come to me, all you who are labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. In the year 2022, when we hear the word yoke, we think of maybe an egg, the yellow yolk in the egg. But back in the time of Jesus, the yoke meant a specific apparatus. It was a wooden apparatus that was placed on the burden of beasts, the beast of burden, the, the oxen, and to enable to pull the plows or to pull the wagons and so on and so forth. But each yoke had to be personally made for that particular animal. There was no one yoke fits all, or no large, medium, and small. It was, they had, it's like buying a a very expensive suit. You had to go in, bring your beast, and they, the carpenters, like Jesus and his father Joseph, would measure out the beasts and so on and so forth and, and produce a particular yoke for that one animal. If there were more than other animals, they would make personal yokes for each of those as well. So why, if, why is, is that so important? Because the beast was pretty much the source of power and energy for the farmer. There were no tractors in those days and no uh, mechanical motor apparatuses. There was the beast, there was the, the, the oxen. And, and, and the oxen, uh, had to be preserved. So if you had just an ordinary yoke put on, a, on, on, a, on an animal without it being designed specifically for that animal, eventually it would chafe the animal and would cut the skin, expose the flesh underneath, get bacterial infection and so forth, and, and, the, and the beast would die eventually. Yes, so the farmer was very careful to make sure that the yoke was made especially for his animal. And Jesus says, his yoke for you and me is made especially for us. The yoke is really the cross, the cross that each of us bears. It is made personally for each and every one of us. Who he might say, for my cross for you is easy and the burden is light. Why? Because the burden of our crosses will not cause us death as it did for Jesus. His burden was very heavy. It caused his death on the wood of the cross. 
but your burden and mine we can accept and we can live with but we must take up our crosses daily our yokes and pull the kingdom of God into existence by what we say and what we do so we're not beasts of burdens but we certainly are missionaries one to another it's like the missionaries who baptized St. Kateri, Kateri Kathawika, and she helped to build up the kingdom of God among the Native American tribes here in the United States. First American, uh, Native American to be uh, exonerated as a saint in the church. And you and I, hopefully, are saints along the way as well, as we try to do our best to build up the kingdom of God putting that burden, that yoke upon our shoulders, that cross, and doing our best to build up God's holy kingdom here and now. May I invite you to stand now together, offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, knowing that he hears and answers all of our prayers. Today's response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all church leaders, that they may take the Good Samaritan as a model for their ministry and offer kindness and hospitality to all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders around the world may exercise their authority for the good of all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Peggy Brady, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord. Hear our prayer. Today for all Native Americans that God may bless them in their lives and may help them to continue to live at peace with all mankind, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother that she may help us to fulfill God's will for all of us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among us. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands and made, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer, through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you of humbled and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Let us all stand and pray with Christ's yoke upon our shoulders that your sacrifice and mine today will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin, St. Kateri Katavika, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too, our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the 
Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of St. Kateri and all of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example leads us to courage. Their fervent prayer sustains us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all of the angels and saints, we too give you thanks and in exultation we all acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth, with your glory, Hosanna the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. In the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into the passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the help of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, St. Joseph, your devoted spouse, St. Kateri, Katholika, and all of your blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who please you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As in Christ, our burdens are light. So let us pray as he himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you this morning. Let us faithfully share that peace with one another.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we this morning, we are called to the Supper of the Lamb.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. Renewed in partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of St. Kateri Kasavika, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day today.